let us take a look at one more concept problem on pointers just to remind you before this there is a theory session discussing this particular program in detail only when you have watched it made an effort to understand then please do come and watch this then things are going to be clear what i have done here is i have declared two shorts names are si and sj so si will have some address in memory sj will have some address in memory then i have declared two variables which can hold addresses so iptr can contain the address of si or sj jptr can also hold the address of si and sj so pointer variables are simply variables instead of values they contain addresses of some other variable provided they are of the same data type now in this step what i am doing is i am assigning the address of si to iptr address of sj to jptr now in the next step what i am going to do is i am going to read values into si and spt si and sj sorry using iptr and jptr so i'm going to ask the user enter two numbers normally what i do is normally you will say scan f percentage hi percentage hi address of si and address of sj to read numbers into si and sj but here if you look at step number on line 15 and 16 iptr already has the address of si jptr has already the address of sj so what i am doing is i am simply saying scan f and i am substituting with iptr and jptr so what is going to come in place of iptr it is going to be the address of si in place of jptr the address of sj is going to come now the next step what i am going to do here is once i enter certain values let's say i enter the values 100 into si and say 200 into sj through iptr and jptr then si and sj i am going to print the address address of si and sj is going to be printed through this mechanism address of si and address of sj then to show you that iptr and jptr contain the address of si and sj respectively i am if going to print iptr it is going to print the address of si and if i print jptr it is going to print the address of sj so both this printf will lead to the same value being printed on the screen now in the last step we are going to print the values of si and sj using two different methods but before we head there let's try to run this program till the stage where we end up seeing the addresses of si and sj so as i told you i am going to enter the number 100 and i am going to enter the number 200 so here if you see on entering number 100 and 200 si okay is at address 8972 sj is at address 8974 there's a difference of two bytes between them because short is given two bytes on the particular machine i'm running then if you see address of si as it is being printed it is the same here because i have printed iptr iptr contains the address of si so this is one more way of printing the address of si i am printing the address of jptr which contains sorry i am not printing the address of jptr i am printing the content of jptr which contains the address of sj so the address of sj here when i am directly printing and when i am printing it indirectly is the same so you can see the address in both the places happens to be the same now what i am going to do here is in the next steps i am going to try to print the content of si and sj in two different ways so if you see here i entered si as 100 sj as 200 so i am printing it in the first stage in the normal way which we print and here if you see it is printing si as 100 and sj as 200 because those were the values i entered now here what i am doing in the last step is i am printing iptr and jptr with a star attached to them if I print IPTR just, it would have printed this 78972. 
If I had just printed JPTR, it would have printed 78974, which happened to be the address of SI and SJ respectively. But because of the star, it is printing the content or value at that particular address. Now what is the content at 78972? It is 100. What is the content at 78974? It is 200. So if you see here, what, what am I doing here is using this star variable, using the star, I am printing the content of IPTR and I am printing the content pointed to by JPTR. So IPTR is referring to the value 100, JPTR is pointing or referring to the value 200. So this way I am printing 100 and 200 on the screen using an indirect approach or the pointer approach where star IPTR gives me the value of SI and star JPTR gives me the value of SJ.